Colby May is an attorney and board member of, his, of Enough is Enough. That's an organization which promotes Internet safety for children. Mr. May, good to see you. Thanks, Matt. What about that discussion there that, that the credit card is basically a safety net to prevent kids from accessing this pornography? No, it's not. Uh, frankly, parents right now can give their children debit cards and other sorts of prepaid credit cards that can be used by children for all sorts of purposes. And so to sort of suggest that that's the prophylactic that protects children from this kind of material on the Internet is just not right. I'm also curious that the representative of the, of the adult film industry said that, that he doesn't think children look at what they aren't doing. And, and what he's suggesting is if kids aren't sexually active, they aren't interested in, in pornography on the Internet. How do you feel about that? How does your organization feel about it? What's the research say about it? Well, the research says that that's not true. In fact, children look at all sorts of things that they are not doing. I mean, for example, space travel. They're, they're interested in space travel. They're also interested in this sort of thing. And the difficulty with this material, Matt, is that it is so powerful in the human experience that it, it frankly can direct a child's relationships long term either for the better or for the worse. And, and I know your, your group says that sometimes there have been examples of kids as young as four being exposed to this pornography and you really are concerned about what effect that has on them long term. Absolutely because if they don't develop healthy wholesome relationships long term then they objectify people and it's just the wrong direction completely for humankind. And I think we should mention that if, 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 if as the industry spokesman said if kids who aren't having sex don't want to look at sex if that's true, then why does the industry oftentimes link popular characters like Pokemon and Barbie? When you, when, you, when you type in those words on the Internet or on a search, you're directed to a porn site. Absolutely. So clearly they realize these young kids are going to look at that and stay with it. Sure, and they also take Disneyland or Britney Spears and they'll use a, a common misspelling of it and then boom, you're mousetrapped into a porn site. And this is what children are out looking on the Internet for, Disneyland. Well, what about this new bill proposed by Blanche Lincoln that, that wants to use verification software? We've heard about software for years now, the blocking software. Is there a next generation of that software out there that can really help? Sure, there's, there's several pieces of software that are just available off the shelf now. There's uh, Verify Me, there's ID Live, there's all sorts of ways in which they, they have programs that will reach out and figure if you have been paying income tax, for example, or been paying real estate taxes, if you have a driver's license. These things that age verify government documents and can prove it right now. Just some quick tips I want to put up, and we've heard these before, but let's just put them up on the screen. Protect your children from Internet porn by keeping a computer in a common place, educating your children, don't give out personal information, use filtering technology, disallow chat rooms, which can be hard with kids, and make other parents aware. So it's clearly a huge issue for parents and for children out there. Colby May, we appreciate you being here. Thanks, Matt.